we're looking at the A minor chord today and the intervals of a minor chord, if you remember from yesterday's video, we have a root, we have a minor third, and then a perfect fifth. And this is the same as a major chord with the exception of the minor third. Okay, so major and minor chords both have a root and a perfect fifth. A major chord will have a major third, and a minor chord will have a minor third. The distance of this interval, the distance between these two notes is just three frets, and the distance between these two notes is seven frets. Now, the notes here, I should have already mentioned that, is A, your third is gonna be C, and then the fifth is E. So let's plot this out on a single string so you can see the interval on that one string there. One, two, three, that's gonna be your C right there. Four, five, six, seven. So that right there is your E, and that is your A minor chord. And I'll just reiterate this formula, root, minor third, perfect fifth, always, 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 always always will give you a minor chord. So as an example, if I started on the E right here, like we did yesterday, we saw E, I go up three frets, that's my G, and then I go up another four, that's my B, and that would give me the notes in a minor chord. Or if I started on C and I go up one, two, three, this note right here would be E flat, four, five, six, seven, and that's gonna give me the G, and that's gonna give me what is my C minor chord C, E flat, G.